All right, I'm back. <clears throat> we got some water, some H2O. I'm trying to rehydrate. I am sick. I'm sick. Ugh. I hate being sick. Let me know if you guys act like big babies when you get sick. I kind of do. <clears throat> All right. Today's shave. We're getting into the holiday uh, Christmas line of soaps here. And we're using First Canadian Shaves Dick and Cider. Politically incorrect shaving soap. <clears throat> and you can see this is a product of Canada right there. <clears throat> Four ounces. This is in their... Uh, their uh, buffalo milk um, base, beef tallow, buffalo milk, a bunch of other, bunch of other goodies in there as well. Um, but real good stuff. You gotta love that label. Um, I think this year's label um, is for the ass men, and the previous years was for the titty men. And I am definitely a titty man. So I got this label, and there's a good look at the soap there. It's um firm but um not so firm you can't press down i'll just smear some of that on the neck um it's firm but not so firm you can't press it down easily uh, i got it whipped up right here in the thirsty badger uh shaving bowl you can see that right there another fine product out of canada awesome shave bowl and then we're going to be using our Moon Soaps brush, uh, which was actually made by Kent Designs. This has the Purple Heart and Maple in a herringbone formation. And then on top we have the uh, Heritage Collection Shaving uh, Gel Bore Knot. So that is what's on the docket for today. And I was actually watching a lot of my own content today as I was just schlepping around the house. Uh, feeling sick and sorry for myself. I was watching a lot of uh, my menthol Monday shaves, and so I think we're gonna throw a little bit of uh, we're gonna throw a little bit of menthol in this one, just for the hell of it. We got the the bougie chill mill here, my menth dealer, the chilla and the pilla, the ice saber, the cold pole. <clears throat> I was watching my own content, and I gotta say, I kind of like my own content. <laughs> I know that might be a uh, conceited or uh, self-centered but I watched about an hour's worth of my own content like three or four videos and I was like dang <laughs> I was like I make the kind of content that I like watching um, so yeah I don't know I was just I, I, I was looking for a specific video and I never ended up finding it which kind of bummed me out because I'm like maybe I didn't post it or I don't know what the fuck happened but it was one of the, there's a hair, or a tip that broke off, put that to the side. Um, I was looking for a video where I actually chopped up menthol on a glass mirror, kind of looking like, you know, lines of cocaine, and I chopped up the menthol with the razor blade into uh, little lines, and then I actually, I actually poured the menthol into the shave bowl and, and incorporated it into the lather. And I was like, I was like, I was just looking for a laugh. I was, you know, I was like, I want to see this video where I chopped up menthol in little white lines and then I dumped it into my shaving bowl and had a shave. And I couldn't find it. And I was like, what the fuck, man? And then I went back through my picture roll and I couldn't find it in my pictures. And I was like, did I, did I chicken out and not post this? Or is it one of those things like the Bernstein Bears or whatever, you know? It's like, I think it happened, but it didn't. I don't fucking know. I'm all congested and my head feels like it's about to explode. But I was like, I could have swore. The memory is so vivid, but there's just like, I can't find proof of it. So if you're a long time viewer of mine, <laughs> and you have, uh, you have any recollection of this content, maybe it wasn't like IG only content, and that's, it just... Um, it came and went after 24 hours, I don't know. But if you have any recollection of this content, where I chopped up the menthol into tiny white lines, 
uh, on a glass mirror and then poured it into my shave bowl and had a shave, please let me know. I would like to know because <laughs> now I'm losing it. <clears throat> Anyways, onward with the shave here. Uh, I went and got a COVID test today, a rapid test, and came back negative. So I'm happy about that, but I'm unhappy because I'm still sick. So that's kind of a bummer. And at this rate, I don't think I'm gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna be better by Christmas because it, you know, the first sign <clears throat> of the sickness was around Thursday. You know, my throat was getting a little scratchy. Um, and it's only kind of ramped up since then. Today's Monday. I called in from work. They didn't like that very much, but when you're sick, you're sick, so fuck them. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to be loading the blade here. I got the Wizomet. And this would be its third use, I believe. And I'm going to be using the Carve. Christopher the Curve. I'm going to be using the Curve. Christopher Bradley Razor. An open comb C plate. And, uh... You can tell I'm out of it because I only lathered my neck and I totally forgot the cheeks. <clears throat> so let's get the cheeks real quick. Um, but yeah, so I I was hoping that, uh, you know, if I made it to the weekend, that I would be able to, you know, take care of myself and hopefully I'd be better by Monday. But I was not better by Monday. And so, kind of a bummer. Because I know, I know they need me at work. I definitely know that they need me. It's not like we're in good shape this time of year. <clears throat> but uh, when you're sick, you're sick. There ain't shit you could do about it. So, took the day off. And uh, I've still been shaving every day, though. Because I'm not down and out. <clears throat> I have all these symptoms that are uncomfortable, but I'm not down and out. I still have energy, so that's good. <clears throat> This, uh, this buffalo milk formula is good shit. It makes a nice creamy lather. Has a good density to it. Maybe, maybe a medium, medium high density. Absolutely no struggles when it comes to slickness. Original or residual. I'm pretty familiar with the product at this point. I should mention the Carve, Christopher Bradley Razor, also a product of Canada. Um, in this configuration, the Open Comb C plate, that's actually my favorite double edge safety razor. And I just love the combination of the face feel, you get a little bit of blade feel in there, but it's just so fucking smooth and the combo is just a winning combo for me my favorite uh, double edge safety razor in the collection I love it alright so the, the scent on this one I have used it many times already but the scent on this one Dickens Cider obviously has a a cider theme it's um warm it has that apple vibe. Kind of has some like baking spices type vibe. Um, my nose is a little bit degraded right now, but I've made multiple videos on this one. So if you really want, if you want, really want a uh, a more in depth review of the scent, you could go watch those. But um, yeah, it's it's a wonderful holiday scent. I think it might have made my fall and autumn sense of the uh, sense my top five fallen autumn scents last year i think it might have made that list and it's definitely deserving of it because it's a killer scent absolutely wonderful scent <clears throat> all that slickness all that slickness nothing to worry about there all right so pass one down i got a nice kind of like entry level chill going on <clears throat> a 
Let's go ahead and we got plenty of lather here. I did load a little bit heavy just because natural hair um, brushes and especially boar brushes are known to be a little bit of lather hogs. But I think Randy's base at first Canadian shave, I think it's of such quality that you don't really need to load heavy just because you're using a natural hair brush. It's just good stuff. Like it's going to whip up into a hell of a lather regardless. And that was definitely the case today. And this this bore knot is fucking huge. It's it's a tall knot. <clears throat> definitely the tallest knot I have in my collection. The the knot itself is rivals the the height of the brush handle. It is a, it's a tall motherfucker. <clears throat> and because it has all that natural hair, you might think that it would, you know, be a lather hog. And it is in other cases, but didn't, uh, didn't have its way with this first Canadian shave formula, that's for sure. I have lather for fucking five shaves in that bowl and in the knot. That's just... Creamy goodness right there. Pure luxury. <clears throat> Let's take another sip. The lips are all fucking dry and the throat's all fucking scratchy. I should have went back and watched my um, shaving while sick video. <clears throat> I made one of those a while back too. You know, I don't watch... I don't watch my own content normally. Like I don't I don't rewatch it before I post it. I don't, you know, check myself to make sure I didn't say something. I don't do no post video editing. It's quite literally raw and uncut. It's going in. Whatever I said is going in. <clears throat> Take it or leave it. <clears throat> That's kind of the way I like it too. Because it's like. If you did cross a line. You should be able to. Uh, apologize. If you. Uh, you know if you. Believe you're in the wrong. Just because others think you are in the wrong. Doesn't mean that. You have to agree to that. <clears throat> but if you believe you're in the wrong, you should be, you have the opportunity to say your piece, whether they want to hear it or not. God damn, that feels good. Every time you revisit one of your favorite razors, I think you get like a level of satisfaction. It's just kind of hard to beat with other, with other razors. Damn. There's just something about the feel. Nice long, long strokes. Under the beard I do these choppy ones just to find the beard line. Kind of get it in order. And then I'll do the long ones afterwards. <clears throat> Over the weekend, I did a an Instagram live shave on Saturday. And I did a Facebook live shave in the Lather and Blade Facebook group on Sunday. And so, I hope you guys were able to uh, tune in and, and catch some of that content or at least watch the replays. The IG one has been saved to my Instagram feed, so that can be revisited. And then the Facebook one should be there to enjoy in the Lather and Blade Facebook group. So, <clears throat> please let me know if you 
caught either of those. And if you were unaware of, of those uh, outlets, well, if you don't know, now you know. I'm on the Lather and Blade Facebook group. That's pretty much the only Facebook group that I'm active in. I'm in plenty of other groups, but I'm not very active in those other ones. Um, you know, not for any particular reason other than just don't have time. All my, all my focus and attention really goes to YouTube. And Instagram is kind of my number two. And Facebook is my number three. And uh, Reddit has been killed and buried. <laughs> I don't do any con. I don't do any content of any sort on Reddit. I took that one out like old Yeller. <clears throat> not a not a place for me. But I I do enjoy myself on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. <clears throat> So I have my, my Instagram is just at DK Damn Fine Shave, or DK period Damn Fine Shave. Um, and I have, I have that listed in the description of every video, um, just so that they can kind of, if people actually read that shit, um, they would be able to see it and then kind of be mutually beneficial to both platforms. And my IG has my YouTube channel linked, so... The goal there is to get traffic, you know, going both ways, but who cares? <clears throat> Lancaster Razor Works in the kind of like gray charcoal color. It's supposed to be the original black sheep, but I think he has a real darker black sheep nowadays. <clears throat> I think Andre has changed some of his methods so that his colors are a little bit more vibrant now a lot of my uh, towels are from early batches so it is what it is still awesome pieces of shave gear shave accessories <clears throat> and that was just a overall enjoyable shave it's funny before the video started I was coughing up a storm sneezing up a storm and I don't want to jinx myself, but once I started the video, I think I only coughed once. So that's, <laughs> that's saying something. You get in the zone when you're on camera. Suppress the coughs, suppress the sneezing. As soon as I hit that stop button though, <laughs> all hell's gonna break loose. Alright guys, I hope you guys have been enjoying some wonderful holiday themed shaves. I think both of my weekend ones, my uh, live, both of my live shaves that I did over the weekend, I think both of those were holiday themed as well. I used K Shave Works, Jingle Bell Spice, and shit, something else. Um, I can't remember. The matching aftershave splash with a with the same beautiful lady in the front. Love First Canadian Shave. You can see the ingredients there. This is a non-alcohol splash. Mostly so that they can uh, ship internationally without any hang-ups. And this is a very vibrant white color. Milky consistency here. Oh, and that smells great. Those baking spices. Apple pie type vibe. Oh yeah. Cider. Warm apple cider type vibe. And it goes on very soothing. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay guys. That'll do it. Um, I hope all you are avoiding getting sick. And I hope you guys have a good holiday week. Happy holidays to you guys. Merry Christmas um, later down the week. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I appreciate you. Cheers.